program. I, I love what I do. It does get stressful at times. You know, and, and, and these individuals have really challenged me. You know, not just one in this case, but but, this, but there were a few. I ain't gonna call no names. But <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things that I love about So Harlem, is that they could take you where you are and put you in a position where your tools are refined and you come out better at the end than you did when you went in. And Diana is, a, is, a, is an example of that. We, we, we took her knowing that she already knew how to sew. She already had the construction knowledge, but there was some refining that needed to take place. And when you listen to instructions, <laughs> mentally ready to work in the garment industry because of what it requires of you mentally, you have to work under pressure, and you got to be able to produce. You can't be working on one piece for six hours. You can't be working on one piece for eight hours. You can't be working on one piece for one hour. You are, you are hired to produce. So again, we say to Natalia, congratulations. Thank you. And I'm so happy, I'm so happy that, that I will not see you for the next four years. I said it's just something about this young kid that I think I can help him with. He's a decent young man. He got a lot to learn. You know, you see, he lacks discipline. But again, that's where we come into it. At. You know, he, he's still young. And, you know, I think the more he hang around responsible people and he get the right guidance and the right counsel, I think he will be a tremendous asset to this garment industry and to his own family. So, Mr. Zaire Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Part of his, this is part of his. This is this is this is who he is. I mean, this is what he likes to present, and I, I'm with it. You know, this is his dream. This is his desire. I'm willing to help him to develop it into a professional garment that he could present to the public, so that he could make money and do what he needs to do.